like I said, even just selling this bubble wrap alone will be it will give me 100 euros, man. There's so much. Uh, obviously, that's not gonna happen, but there's so much bubble wrap. It must cost a fortune to pack all this. Oh yeah, this is cool. This is a cool item. It's actually one I bought already before, but mine got damaged during shipping, during not shipping, during moving. Uh, so I had to rebuy it because the damaged one, you know, like I said, collector's OCD, man. I need to have everything in pristine condition. See if I can open that one. There we go. It's actually a pretty cool item here. There's a slight damage here, but it's the Square Millennium Collection. Final Fantasy Tactics. It has the game inside. You can see the game through it. That's awesome. But it also comes with some stuff, which you won't be able to see on the outside, apparently. Surprisingly. So let's see if I can pop this one open quickly. Remove the cover. So here we got the CD. Final Fantasy Tactics. And we pop this one off. Actually, we can just put the CD back in there. Little protection film. That one should be in there, shouldn't it? A little booklet. We got this. This is pretty cool. Because it's a deck of cards. But it's themed from Final Fantasy Tactics. So that's pretty cool. Jokers. So, you know, I uh, have two of these now. So I might use one to play with. That's blasphemy for collectors. Since I have two, I mean, I'm a collector, but I don't need doubles. I don't do doubles, man. If I have doubles, I'm going to sell or use them. Same with collector's editions. I buy collector's editions to keep them sealed. Booklet. But, uh, yeah, I mean, once once I have another one, I, I usually buy, like, uh, a second pair. Not a collector's edition, but a normal uh, edition, just to play them. So, uh, I wonder how this is. So, like I said, I buy, I buy a collector's edition, and I buy a normal edition. Keep the collector's edition sealed for the for the museum, and then play the normal edition. Of course, people are saying, why are you buying a collector's edition if you're going to keep them sealed? Well, that's the collector's thing, man. Want everything in perfect condition. So, Millennium Square Collection, that was just one thing in the box. It was basically that thing. Okay, so I thought I had another PlayStation 3 in here, but apparently that's in the other box I'm shipping over. So here, I thought we were done with these for a bit, but I have another massive Moogle. This one is very similar to the very first one I show you. Except this one is not a normal edition. This is not a Christmas edition. He doesn't have his red tunic. Beside that, he's pretty much the same. But different Muggle. It's his twin brother. And I took another one out of the box. These things are light. They don't weigh anything at all. What we got here? Oh yeah, this is cool. <laughs> Okay, I can tell you the price about this one. This is, I forgot its name, Numo, Numo N. I forgot its name, wait, let me unpack it, let me unpack it completely, man. So the, uh, the, the, the Fire Emblem might have been the most expensive item in there. This, believe it or not, is the cheapest item I've got in there. So, it's a USB pen. I forgot his name. It's known as the fish dude. He's got a little fan in his hand. You plug in the USB and he starts waving it up and down. I don't think it will create a breeze, but it's just vanity and it's pretty cool. I'll 
I'll tell you how much I bought this for. One. What? One. One hundred? Nope. Ten? No. One euro? Uh-uh. Ten cents? Nope. One cent. Basically a freebie. I bought so much from that guy, he said, okay, you can have it. <laughs> I wanted to have it, because it looked cool. Okay, that's a bit pretty heavy pack. Let me just get everything out of the box. These are pretty heavy, guys. I wonder what's inside these. Might have an idea. There might be books, there might be games. These are quite a lot heavier than the previous packages I've opened. I'm gonna open this up, to open up this one. One, two, three. I'll take a quick picture of the, uh, once I'm done, I'll take a picture of the bubble wrap that's behind me. I wonder what's in here, man. Ah, cool. So, what we have here are some CDs. Casings are scratched, so this is the first item that's not in pristine condition. We've got replacement cases, so that's okay. We got original soundtrack from Final Fantasy IV. Nothing on the bank. The back is pretty blank. Final Fantasy IV. Little text here. Pretty cool. Final Fantasy IV music CD. Not sure if I already have that one. Like I said, I have quite a lot. And here we got another Final Fantasy IV Celtic Moon CD. Numbers are on the back, see if I can focus. It's a bit blurry, the casing is not in the best condition either. So Celtic Moon. This one's pretty nice. This is, the CD is supposed to be the moon. Got these dark spots of the moon, the Celtic Moon. For children all over the world. Love that CD, man. Next one, we've got, oh, what do you know, it's another one, it's the same one. Yeah, might give this to a friend of mine. Or it might wind up on uh, eBay. And then we've got, it has seen better days. Final Fantasy VIII original soundtrack. I mean, the outer box has seen better days, as you can see. I already own this one though, so it's not a biggie. Cracking the CD, unfortunately. Or in the casing. I do believe this is a quadruple disc. Yep, it is. And... What is this? Oh, this was in the box. Composed by... A massive fan of him. You should know who it's composed by, but maybe you can zoom in. Nobuo san. Nobuo. Hematsu. So. Okay, there we go. Japanese from right to back, of course. Some art style, we got some text I can't read. It seems like it has a little bit of water damage, or moisture, because it's a little bit folded. But I'm happy with it. I already have one of these. Pretty sure. If not, then I might have to replace the casing and uh, see if I can fix that card box by using some non aggressive glue. That's Final Fantasy VIII. And then we have Final Fantasy Tactics. Pretty cool art box. It's 
made of cardboard as well, or paper rather. So this one is uh, saved in a better condition. Delita and Raza. Raza and Delita, I believe. Now we got the emblem here. Of the house boulevard, I believe. Right, little booklet in it. And then we got another one. Disc 2. Pretty cool, this one's actually intact. And in pretty good condition, considering its age. So yeah, happy with that. Final Fantasy Tactics Music CD. I'm gonna stack them on top of each other to save some space. Let's open the second package that was in there. More music CDs, I think. Um, yeah, it's more music CDs, but this is not Final Fantasy. So these will be for me to listen to. And I did tell you I wanted to learn Japanese 15 years ago, so I started listening to music from Japan as well. And this was one of the artists. Are you Rose? So this is Ayumi Hamasaki. Super Eurobeat songs. I love the CD, man. It's pretty colorful. Super Eurobeat, Ayuro mix. We got one. We got two. This is Ayumi as well. Got another one. Ayumi Hamasaki in the tiger print. It's reflecting quite a bit. I got a fourth one. This is actually this was my favorite album back then. I remember using having this wallpaper on my. Uh, this is a wallpaper on my PC. Had to get used to her having short hair, man. Evolution. And another CD. So there's basically six CDs of her. There's no back sides, but there are front sides. So six Ayumi Hamasaki uh, CDs. And I don't know all of their songs. Hardly I know, like, what, 10%. But uh, yeah, I used to listen to quite a few of her songs. And I love their music, especially the Eurobeat. So that's the uh, six CDs I'm going to listen to. See if we can punch a hole in this. Lots of small stuff inside. A very tiny small thing again. I don't even know what's inside here. It's so tiny, I don't remember buying this. What is this? Oh. Probably came with the, uh, the Riku at Final Fantasy X-2 casing. It's a loose memory card. This is a standard PS2 memory card. Oh well. They're honest, they put it back in there. If they, if they took it out, I wouldn't even have noticed, to be honest. What is that? Oh, That's a very small figurine. Nearly broke a sword in half. What is it from, though? I mean, I obviously know who it is, but I don't know... Let's see if I can see the brand. It says Square Enix, surprisingly. But, uh... Well, I thought it would be better. Well, I thought it would be worse quality, but it's actually pretty decent quality here. Got a little Sephiroth figurine. Look at the sword of him, huh? Surprised that survived the shipping from Japan. Knowing how some of these people handle their packages. They just drove stuff there. Got a little Sephiroth figurine with a giant ass sword. And I was looking at the hairs because, you know, usually when they're bad quality... It's like, uh, the hairs are, 
uh, mold together with plastic, but that's not the case here, so surprisingly good quality of a little Sephiroth figurine. Oh. Well, I'm not really sure what happened here. These are the rest of the figurines. Not sure they survived the trip, or they're supposed to be put together first. Maybe they are already put together. So of course we had Sephiroth, and here, Barret. Pretty cool figurine we got here. They're very detailed, surprised. He's got his machine gun. That's normal arm. Again, that's a very fragile piece there. Survived the trip. And then. Okay. Thought for a second we lost cloud there, but apparently. Um, it's supposed to be like that. Well, obviously the rest of his stuff is in here, but. I think he's supposed to stand like that. Checking if it's the right plate for his feet. Because he's holding it behind his back. I think he's supposed to put it like that. A little buster sword. So his hand was beating. We could remove his hand and turn it around a little bit. Yeah, Cloud, Cloud Strife, Final Fantasy VII as well. So we have Barrett, Cloud, Sephiroth. We don't have all the figurines though. We have my favorite character from Final Fantasy VII. Who's that? I thought you already had Cloud. Yep. Well, you should have known from the Honey Anime cosplay. Of course, it's Tifa. I'm really surprised with the quality of these figurines. Even her ponytail survived the trip. Tifa Lockhart. Awesome. And then the last one. No, it's not Red 13, unfortunately. He's probably my second favorite character. And where is Cloud? Well, somewhere in the back. Really? Yeah, definitely. I mean, Yuffie's above Cloud. Red 13, Nanaki is above Cloud. Aerith? Nah, Aerith is beneath Cloud, man. Sorry, I'm not a Arab kind of person. Like I said, I'm into Tifa. I'm Camp Tifa. I'm not sure what site you guys are on. Let me know in the comments down below, man. What site you belong to. Whether it's Yuffie. Aerith. I'm trying to fix this hand into her. Into this figurine. But it's very, very fragile. Aerith, Tifa, Yuffie. Or even Barith. You can take him into the Golden Saucer. Wonder how that will play out in the new Final Fantasy. I've already seen cross dressing Cloud, so. Wow, these figurines are. fragile. All the more reason I'm so surprised that they survived the trip unscathed. And we got Aerith. 
Aerith Gainsborough, or Aeris, if you will. I have to put her hand in, don't think it's still in the right position, but it will do for now. That was it for that package. That took a while, man. So let's open this one. Still missing some CDs, music CDs. And judging from the weight of these packages, they should contain some CDs. First off, we have another Lost Fire Emblem game, which I do believe is the first one. The very first Fire Emblem. Yeah, I believe that's the very first Fire Emblem game. Complete in box, Famicom. I use small boxes. This one has been resealed. It's actually really good condition. The game is in there. So yeah, the very first Fire Emblem. I started buying them in order. So I went for the first, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth. Oh. And then I came upon Trasi 776. Got the first five cheap, but then Trazi came and, well, let's say that wasn't cheap. So it took me a while to uh, find the, uh, what would you call it, the courage to buy it, if you will. I've been thinking about it several times, I'm like, oh well, let's just get it. Alright, this is a big pile of CDs, and I have to double check if this is who I think it is, yep. So, someone I'm still listening to nowadays, it's not as famous as Ayumi, but I love these CDs. This is probably my favorite Japanese artist, uh, artist, singer, if you will. And it's a band made of two Japanese guys and two Canadian guys. And they're singing both Canadian or English, uh, I should say not Canadian, they're singing English and Japanese at the same time, fluently. This is Monkey Magic. So we got one CD here. And yeah, this one is gonna go in my car, man. I'm gonna play this the heck out of it. We have another CD, which is another Monkey Magic. If you guys, if you guys are watching this video, check out Monkey Magic, man. You write it like that. Monkey, like literally monkey. And then, well, normally it says Monkey Magic, here they made something else. It's Monkey M.A. and then Rare Track. Monkey Magic. Uh, there we go. Magic, like that. So not G-I-C, no, J-I-K, Magic. And no, this is not a promotion for Monkey Magic. Just a huge fan of them. Wonder if they'll ever see this video, probably not. Thank you. This... Is also monkey magic. So they're singing. Sometimes they're singing fully English. Sometimes they're singing fully Japanese. And sometimes my favorite songs, they switch it off. They go uh, English, Japanese, English, Japanese, English, Japanese in the same song. We got time, monkey magic. See if I can find my favorite album. I should have. I know I bought it. So CD four, Monkey Magic. But quite a few CDs. It was a bundle. This is one of my favorite albums. Maybe not the best one, but it's definitely one of my favorites. Monkey Magic. This one is called. Um, no, it's not called Um, but. I can't tell. I can't tell the title to be honest. Like nice, you got a horse ass in the pic in the book. But around the world is on this disc, and that's a good song. Though to be honest, if you want to get a good idea of what they're about, one of my favorite songs is called "Fly," Monkey Magic Fly. It's actually a, uh, it's actually a track where they sing both English and Japanese. You got DNA. From Monkey Magic as well. Black casing. Some DNA shown in it. Yeah, 
guess the days are clean, man. These cities are very clean. Monkey Magic. The best off. Well, this one probably has the song I'm looking for. Let's see. Yeah. Is it? I can't tell. I mean, I can tell it's not on there, surprisingly. Monkey Magic. The best off Monkey Magic. Monkey Magic. Monkey Magic. Monkey Magic. That's actually a song they made. Monkey Magic. The funkiest monkey you've ever seen. Something like that. I forgot the entire lyrics. Westview? Disco Girl, everything. Yeah, there's some good songs on this one as well. I think this one is one of the later albums. Is there a pop slash rock kind of group? Make good music. I know one of these CDs has the song on it, but I missed it probably. So these are rental CDs, apparently. Well... Either they repolished them, or this is the best rental CD I've ever seen. There's literally no scratches on them. Not one so whatsoever. I think they repolished these. Good enough for me. Oh, watch out, Severov. Don't fall over. So we got three packages left. They are probably one of the biggest ones, so... Oh! Not the heaviest ones, but... Well, one of them is. This one is also pretty heavy. I have no idea what's in here anymore. So there's a lot of CDs in here, I can tell, because it's moving around. We've got a lot of games here. What kind of games? Well, most of them are Square Enix games. I'm gonna go through this a little bit quickly. So we have Final Fantasy IX. Um, oh yeah, <laughs> I already know what this is. So you got Final Fantasy IX. Also these present. It's missing the booklet, but please, oh, excuse you. Stay in there, man. Don't fall out. The two are still in one place as well. But look at the art, man, on this CDs. See Dane and Dagger. We got Steiner and Fifi. I love how Fifi looks here. It does not look anything like that in the game. Concept art of Amano, probably. That must be Queena. Queena, he or she. We got Freya. And. Amaranth and Ico. Pretty cool. Final Fantasy IX. We don't have those kind of cover CDs, man. What's that? Well, there's another one. Wait, do you buy two? Yeah, there's two. Comes without a booklet, but... I have the booklet, I have the Japanese in the Final Fantasy IX. So why'd you buy another two? Well... Why not? Who said I bought two? I have three. <laughs> this was a bundle with all Final Fantasy games. I know the CCDs are loose in this one, so... Gonna retouch them. Just come with a booklet. Nope. No booklet here. So that's the third copy of Final Fantasy IX. Final Fantasy IX is my second favorite Final Fantasy game after VI. We got Final Fantasy VII. 
We put it back in the seal. So we got one Final Fantasy seven, three Final Fantasy nines. Got Final Fantasy eight. Bit of a crack in the disc in the casing. So these keep popping out. Have to be careful opening these. Got some cover art. Not as cool as the one that's from Final Fantasy nine. But still better than the, the black CDs we used to get over here. Final Fantasy eight. There's no booklets in any of these. What we got here? Well, we have another Final Fantasy VIII. Checking it. Oh, there's a booklet. There we go. So we have one complete one. They did mention that they didn't check all of these. So, two Final Fantasy IX, two Final Fantasy VIII, one Final Fantasy VII. What we got here? Well, it's another Final Fantasy VIII. This one's in the seal, so I'm not even gonna bother. What we got here? Well, what do you know? That's the fourth one. What's this then? Well, it's the fifth one. Anyone wants Final Fantasy VIII? Let me know. Well, what do you got there then? Well, that's number six. To be honest, Final Fantasy VIII is one of my least favorite Final Fantasies. Well, why did you buy another one then? Seven. Wait, you got eight? Yeah, sure, why not? What is this? Well, it's a Final Fantasy IX. Finally. This one feels like it has a booklet, yeah. So I did buy some of these. I got them really cheap. And I might compare them with the copies I have and see which ones are more beautiful. Or maybe, you know, pick them apart and put one together from the best parts of every CD. Order Final Fantasy IX. Another Final Fantasy IX. And another Final Fantasy IX. So literally we have, let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got eight times Final Fantasy VIII. We got seven times Final Fantasy IX. And we got one time Final Fantasy VII. It's just a bunch of Final Fantasy games. And, like I said, I'm gonna uh, compare them with the ones I have. Depending on which is better, I'm gonna keep them. Or, you know, put like Frankenstein them. Put, one into, put two into one. And if I have some copies left at the end, I might sell them. 